literally cannot go the other way. So once they are in, they're in, they cannot get out. Look, look, there's three of them right there. Those are freaking flower horns. Oh, I just touched the fish. I stuck my hand in there and I felt the fish. That is a freaking monster right there. What is up BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. If you guys are new to the channel, go down there, hit the red subscribe button. I just found one of the cool spots I think we have ever found on the channel. So if you guys have been following the videos recently, we found a spot that holds wild flower horns and we've been there two times. We caught a bunch each time. But I went on Google Maps and I was searching, right? Because a lot of this stuff is Google Maps. You can do it on Google Maps. You can just look up the canal and you can follow it. I got a little curious and I followed that canal where we catch those flower horns. I followed it on Google Maps and I just, you know, I, I looked to see where it led to because you guys know, canals, they don't really end. They just connect to other things and they just go on forever. So I was looking on Google Maps last night and I found this spot. Now this is like completely different area like completely different city from where we usually catch these flower horns, but it's the same body of water, same canal. And look how cool it is. And I walk up and what do you freaking know? I see a bunch of flower horns out there. There he is, or three of them. Look, look, there's three of them right there. Those are freaking flower horns, holy crap. Oh, there's another one right there. There's another one, that black, that black thing right there. And another one. There's so many. Oh, look at those. They're swimming out. They're swimming out. There's so many, bro. I've also seen a lot of peacock bass too. Look, look at the school of peacock bass. That is insane. There's a big flower horn back there in the back though. Oh, another flower horn right there. So you guys can already tell that this canal is way better than the other canal. They're just loaded in here. So yesterday I came here with my blue fish trap. You guys know that fish trap because I wanted to try and catch these fish with a fish trap this time. And well, I broke my blue fish trap. Hopefully we keep going today and we can catch something really cool. Oh, I just broke it. So yeah, you saw there, I broke, the zipper came off so it doesn't close. So I, I can't use that fish trap, it is garbage now. And that gave me the idea to look around my house and try to find something to make my own fish trap for today. Now obviously we, I have other fish traps that I could use, but I thought it'd be fun today to try to do a DIY and try to make a fish trap out of something super crazy and see if we can catch some of these wild flower horns with it. So I did exactly that and this whole morning for three hours, I was building a fish trap out of a cat house. So I would like to introduce you guys to the cat house fish trap 3000 now when i was walking around my house trying to find something to make a fish trap out of i saw this cat house and i was like dude this is literally a fish trap to the naked eye to any normal person they would see a cat house but no this is a fish trap so yeah i had to screw this door shut so the fish don't swim out and then i made this contraption i saw the cat door and i knew exactly what i wanted to make but it was a little hard to actually make it because you know i knew i wanted the cat door to go like this so the fish can swim in but i i needed a way for the for the door to shut and then not be able to push it this way so i nailed a bunch of these like straps to the edge of it so that it can't pass through and i also made the nails come out so it just literally cannot go the other way so once they are in they're in they cannot get out now i needed a way for them to want to go in there i mean it does look pretty cozy i think fish would love to go in here and make a little fish home but we're gonna load it with cat food and bread so that they smell it through the doors and all the little cracks in here and then they swim on in and they get trapped and lastly we have a big old rock in the middle of it right there there's a big old rock that's what it looks like on the inside and we got the rock in there just so it sinks because I tested it in my pool and it did not sink without the rock, but it does sink with it. So we're good to go. Now, the only thing I'm still stuck on is where I'm going to put the trap because it's kind of shallow out there and it's not very accessible for me, you know? Like the banks are just covered with grass and algae and weeds. Dude, I can see literally five of them out there. Five, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. There's nine flower horns right there. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put this. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. Dude, look at this, look at this. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, big fish, big old fish. You see that wake, dude? That's a big snakehead, I think. You guys, check this out. Look what we just found. Wow, this is a sick little creek. Oh my God, there's little fish down there. There's little fish. Wait, what kind are those? I see the little fish down there. No way. Hold on, no way. Dude. Those are African cichlids. You're kidding me. You're, you're actually kidding me right now. Oh, there's so many. Oh my God, there's so many. There's so many this way. What are those? Oh my God, those are flower horns. There's two, three, four. Okay guys, I'm trying to stay calm. 
but you don't understand how wild this is. I had no idea this little canal was here. I walk up and I see African cichlids, dude. They look like they were the same ones we catch at the other spot. For a little re reference, our other African cichlid spot is literally like 40 minutes from here, from where I'm at. This is like a whole new group of African cichlids. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to come back and do this another day because this fish trap is made for big fish. I mean, there's cracks in here like this small, so they'll be able to get out. I can't catch the Africans in this one. We'll have to come back another day and catch these guys out and see what kind of African cichlids they are. But I'm going to guarantee you guys 100% I saw African cichlids. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this trap. I think the trap, oh, what is that? Oh, oh no. I think the trap is big enough, or small enough, I should say, to fit in there. That looks deep enough. Look, 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 look. Where did he go? He's right there. Right there, right in the middle of my screen. Look at him, African cichlid. Right there. Right there, you can see him. There he is. There's a flower horn right there. <laughs> oh, another African. Another African right there. Okay guys, I think I found the perfect spot for the trap. This is insane. This is so cool. Look at all the rocks, dude. This is literally an African cichlid, flower horn, whatever, paradise. I mean, all these little rocks and caves for them. This is so cool. Well, I'm gonna go get the trap, guys. We're gonna bring it over here. The, tra the trap is pretty heavy, so this is gonna be fun. But I think we're gonna place it right here in this huge pipe. Oh my God, look at that fish down there. Dude, he's got stripes. I've never seen that before. Okay, let's go get the trap. We're gonna place it here. And dude, I, I, I can't believe it. This is so sick. Okay, we got our bait, cat food, bread. Let's grab our trap and head over. This is the craziest fish trap we've ever done. Now we have to get down there. Guys, drop a like. It is like 100 degrees out here. And this is what I'm doing. Oh gosh. Let's load some freaking bread and cat food into it. Dude, I'm looking at five African cichlids down there. This is insane. I wish I brought a rod. All right, put the bread in. Cat food is really what's gonna help us today because the cat food, they really smell it. So they're actually gonna go in there just cause the cat food, they're gonna smell it. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see this guys. Look, look at those fish. Oh my God, that one's got a blue tail. Bro, this is insane. Like everywhere I look, I'm, I'm seeing weird cichlid type fish I've never seen before. I don't know how I just found this spot. <laughs> Okay, I might have to go in a little bit. That's deeper than I thought. All right, I want to place it with the whole face in this way. I want the whole face in this way. Oh my God, this is so scary. Oh my God, this is so scary. Oh, this is so scary. I just picture an alligator coming straight for me. Oh, I'm scared now. Okay, I kind of freaked out there and had a little panic attack staring into this dark tunnel. Usually I'm not scared of like alligators and stuff, but that dude, look at this tunnel. Look at this. That is nuts. That is scary right there. But we got the trap in the water. As you could tell, the hole is facing that way. So I thought we would place the hole there. So, oh, look, there's a fish. There's a fish literally looking at it right now. I'm chumming some bread and these African cichlids are literally eating it right now. And it's teasing me because I don't have a rod or anything to catch them. But yeah, trap is in the water. I want to give this one a long time because this canal is just loaded with co cool fish and I want to give it time to just catch a bunch of fish. You know what I'm saying? Because we kind of spooked them a little bit getting in the water. Um, I, I can definitely tell a lot of fish got spooked, but there still is a lot around. We're going to give them a lot of time to come back and make themselves feel comfortable. They're going to see this. They're going to smell the food. This is actually per This is working perfectly because as you can tell, there's a little bit of water flow. Like if you look right there, there's water flow flowing out this way. So there's cracks in it. So all that scent from the cat food is just drifting down and everything in this canal is going to smell it. This one, I want to wait a good minute. So we're going to go for four to five hours. Right now it's like 12 o'clock. So we'll be back later today. So yeah, guys, stick around, see what we catch. Hopefully we get something cool. We'll see you in about four to five hours. Okay, guys, we are back at the spot about four hours later and we're ready to go get our fish trap, see what's inside. So, so we're going to grab a bucket in the back, head down there, check it. I don't know how I'm going to get it up because that thing is going to be heavy. Got a big old iguana right here. Oh my God. Oh, oh I almost just fell in. Oh, it's closed. Oh, thank God. Our mechanism's working. Look. So if anything did swim in, it's trapped in there because the door is closed. Hopefully that angle is good. You guys gotta bear with me. I'm all by myself today. Filled with water actually, so we're ready. Okay. Oh boy, this is 
gonna be tough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh no, the trap, the door opened. Oh, the door opened for a second. I gotta close with my hand. Okay. Wait, let me feel in there. Oh, I just touched the fish. I just touched a fish, we have something. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, this is so heavy, guys. Oh my god, we got something. Oh, I can see it. We got something. Guys, I stuck my hand in there to feel if I can feel any fish, and I felt the fish. I'm gonna try and drag it up to the top of the canal, and then we'll see what's inside. That should be good. Look at the water leaking out, dude. That was like filled with water to the very top. Let's see what we got. This is so, oh my God. Oh, dude, look how big those things are. Oh, they're freaking huge. Okay, let's get them out. Let's get them into the bucket. Are these, those are flower horns. Come on. Oh my God, it worked. It freaking worked, baby. Look at this one. Oh, look at the eyes on her. That's a female right there. Look at the blue eyes too, wow. Gorgeous. Oh, we got so many, we gotta go fast. I didn't realize we had so many. Oh my God. Look at the size of that male, dude. Oh, these are so cool. We still have a lot more. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at that. Little, little female. What's this guy? Dude, we're catching babies. Look at that, palm size. So cool. Another baby. Is that a, yeah, that's a flower horn, I think. The babies are, aren't too colorful, but. Oh, we got another one. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's a spotted tilapia, I think. I think that's a spotted tilapia. They do kind of look like the flower horns, but that's a different species, actually. That's pretty sick. Any more? Guys, tell me if we got any more. We got any more? I don't think so. I think we're good. Guys, I don't know what to say right now. Look what we freaking did. DIY fish trap, baby. Look at the size of these things. This is the sickest thing. Oh my God. That is a freaking monster right there. That is an actual monster. Look at the size of him, bro. Oh, he's pooping. Don't poop in the bucket. I don't know how many we got, but dang, we did get a lot. Babies. Wow. Look at that one. So beautiful. So freaking sick, guys. I, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. Look at that one. Look at the greens. <sighs> We're gonna get these guys in the cooler. I brought an aerator. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna bring these guys all to Pond X. Oh, I see another one. Dude, I literally see one swimming right there. They are stacked in here. We're gonna bring our fish trap back. We're definitely gonna use this again another day. We're gonna get our fish on an aerator. And we're gonna head to freaking Pond X, baby. Let's go, guys. Leave a like down below. Oh, they're stuck. There they go. Woo! Nice. All right, we've made it. There's all our fish. Everyone's doing good. Oh my God, they made that water dirty. Good thing I brought this net. We can just scoop them all up. I literally scooped them all up. It's in the bucket. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Pond X looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and grab our new fish out. I think this is the biggest one. This is the big old male. Look at that. Wow. That is a big boy right there. Go on. And don't get stuck in the leaves. Come on, silly. Come on, you got the big brain of yours. Use it. There he goes. <laughs> See ya, dude. You're going, you're going the wrong way, by the way. You gotta go that way. There you go. He, he's figured it out. Who's next? Big old female. There she goes. Oh, that's the spotted tilapia. We don't want him in there. Wow, look at the colors. Look at that. Such beautiful fish, dude. Can't get over the colors on these things. They're so cool. And who's next? I think that's a little female. It might be a little male. 
And I think we got one more. One more little one, two more, one more. Who? There we go, little baby. Hold on a second. There is another one. I knew there was two babies. Get over here, get over here. Cause I knew we had two babies and there was only one in there. All right, you, come on. Try not to get eaten by Brandy, would you? If you guys don't know Brandy, Brandy is our five pound bass that we used to have in our pond and uh, we let her go in here. So Brandy's roaming around in here somewhere and she could definitely eat you. So try to hide. Well, now I think we got over 10 of these crazy fish. I think the scientific name is like Vieja Sin, Sin something like that. I don't know. You guys have commented it like a thousand times. I know what it is. I just can't pronounce it. I think they're also called redhead cichlids or something like that. But yeah, like I've said previously, they are used to make flower horns since flower horns are man-made fish. You can't find flower horns in the wild. This is as close as you get really because, you know, they're like half flower horns basically. Well, that'll do it for today's video, guys. Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, you're probably a you know good supporter of the channel. I just wanna thank you guys for the support recently. I love doing this stuff, and it makes me so happy that you guys love watching it. So go down there, hit the like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.